MPL. Just looking towards Monster. There's still one flash in play for Na'Vi. So they might try and time that oh. well. It was actually simple stealing the kill from behind him. The artist formerly known as Nipple. Ooh. Taking one in the face. Jerry's moving through with those jewelies done. It'll be lost again as Simple looks for his third of the round. You can see the flashbang support as a result is dropped, leaving Krad and Zorte. Now it's just Zorte. One versus three. Na'Vi able to hold despite that early loss on short B. They prevail on the B bomb site. Sure, we can expect the standard map control utility to be on point from them. They will slowly start to move towards bathrooms where Bit is not ready for that first fight and Simple can't follow up either. Great start to the round from Krad. Couldn't really ask for more from that first round as far as Forza are concerned. I love that angle from Shalfi. Instead of sticking around close on those stairs where the SMG might be able to beat him. I feel like every... There's the anime, by the way, but I feel like every round so far they've been super aggressive towards the A bomb site. So we'll see if or when they change things up. Anime powered right by Monster though. NPL holds things down. Exactly what Na'Vi needed, but it is always about how you finish, not about how you start. And Result is here now looking to find something. Caught with a grenade in his hand and the Molly will do the rest of the work. Does get a frag for his troubles, but it's three on two in favor of Na'Vi. Oh, now, Krad can be a crazy player at times. I've seen him do some mad things. He might not need to here because Zorte just wins that fight against Simple straight up. And now Krad does try to go through the smoke. Zorte still able to trade, but Perfecto might be unexpected in his position. He's pushed to the right here. Playing back from truck now as Zorte tries to close the gap. 23 seconds. Plenty of time to try and clear these angles. Now he knows. And the molly is going to be so valuable here. Perfecto. Forced to the right. Zorte hits the shot, but not the frag. Second time he gets it and falls. Keep going. They may be forced to play a little more passive. That's the bomb scene immediately by NPL. Which will mean rotation for these ecoing Navi players. Oh, whoa, hang on, where did that come from? Electronic just finds two Deagle headshots from the heavens. Maybe there's more to this round than anticipated. Another fight goes the way of Na'Vi. This time the pistols might just get it done. Zorte, the only man remaining, has to clutch again. But the spray transfer isn't enough. Simple arrives from the back lines. And just when it looks like fours have got control on this T side. Three to four then. Maybe this will be the unlikely turning point. Very nice. Smoke on the site, but why not the balcony? They will rue that one. Can't allow him. That's a literal window of opportunity there for Electronic with his Desert Eagle. See that MPL has the incendiary ready if Simple needs to shoot. Oh, good timing on it. Simple able to get away with the opener and uses that flash to get back to safety. Really well worked by Simple early. One minute on the clock for the four remaining players who have no flashbangs. They have two smokes. They could maybe use to obscure some angles, but I could end up in giving the CTs places to hide. Bet they wish they could hide from Simple. That bomb is almost in T-spawn, but there are 40 seconds remaining. But that's a lot of work for two players to do on the A bomb site. In the meantime, Jerry swinging forward. And there was a smoke to obscure some vision, but will it be enough? Krad has got more to find after getting two headshots. Electronic and Perfecto down on the site. Simple creeping now. 24 seconds remain. And now Zorte has to do it all again. But he's walking into a crossfire because we have bit by that long position. And the money is awkward on fours. Losing bonus low. Electronic now will cover Simple's right-hand side, but Long is being left open in the meantime. While there's a smoke up, Simple sword of foot, that's enough. To get a quick shot onto Zorte, and he'll continue to hunt then. These pistols continue to dance around. Shalfi carrying the bomb. Oh, that's a nasty one of the crash. <laughs> and he spotted the shoulder, Simple, with the 4K grotesque shots. He loves that. They will look for something. Perfecto edging forward, covering the right-hand side. While Electronic keeps an eye on the left. 
Now, Resalt could pop out from Connector here if required. Down goes Shalfi. There's a quick pop out. But where's the communication about Perfecto's position? He gets another one for free. Three on three as Brad moves through Monster then. And Perfecto's surely about to get barbecued. Indeed, he is. But there'll be a trade with Molotovs as Zorte once again is in the clutch. One versus two. Simple and electronic both on the site. But with Connector door open, he's going to be paranoid about his six. Continuing to move forward. Bombs on the floor as well. 30 seconds. This is doable, but he has to dodge the AWP. Smoke up to cover some angles, but he can't cover Simple's angle. But even those rounds were ones where it felt like Na'Vi still had the edge, and then they made a play to bring it back. And now this mid-aggression is working wonders for Bit. This time he wins the opening two fights, and Simple will just fall back happy with the man advantage. And Simple is lurking somewhere. So almost a guarantee that one of your players is about to be lost. And Shafi looks like he's about to pick all the wrong angles. Or is he? You can see the distraction with the smoke into the molly. Shafi with a grenade in his hand. What are you trying to do with that? You can't do that versus Na'Vi. Result and Zorte remain 2v3. ZNPL is in the smoke. Oh, he's given his position away and he's run. That's going to be very costly indeed. But... They're playing together, a crossfire as there is bomb plant pressure. Zorte going for the plant now, dancing around the pillar. The scope will be heard, Perfecto moving closer. Into the water he goes and Zorte will have to fall back as he cannot solve this problem any longer. Locked in here and Na'Vi know it. Do they want to hunt him down at the end of the round? MPL jumps around the corner. Now previously when they got an early-ish frag on the A bomb site, they collapsed towards B immediately. I do wonder if they might be doing the same. Bit sees the shadows in pre-fire. Doesn't make a full connection and Zorte is covering the angle. Things get more expensive for Na'Vi as Electronic creeps around the smoke. Then there were two. Perfecto and NPL remain. Forza in a strong position for their fifth round. 36 seconds on the clock and they've got four of the five players on that B bomb site. It was a six round win streak for Na'Vi that they are able to break. That's something for Perfecto. AK recovered for now. Oh, it might be gone soon. Shalfi lands the shot long range with the Galil. How does this long contact play look then? Bit is in a position where he likely is going to have to fight his way out of it. He's got the first. Turns around. It's MPL here to help him. Finally, they deal with Bit. Electronic also in position. Nice shot from Jerry, but it's still a man disadvantage. And look at the rotate. Everyone from Na'Vi in position at the right time. And now this B site will be the end goal for Fours by the looks of things, using all their utility towards B. Look at the possessions from Na'Vi. Perfecto still down below. Electronic can help him, but Jerry has taken two kills from that equation. And now they can get that bomb down. Oh my God, simple. simple. Did he go for a wall, wall bang again? No, it's just going to be a clean one from him. Zorte once more in the clutch. He's had many 1vxs in this half to deal with, and here is another one. Got to be careful around that smoke in case it's the one way. You can see him just jiggling, trying to bait a shot in case there is one. No one's touched the bomb just yet, though. There it is. So where is the cover now? He looks for Simple, but Simple will get there first. You can see the mouse going up. Doesn't go down too fast, though. And with that, it'll be 10 rounds for Na'Vi at the end of the first half. And that was a hell of a first half in this series. What is the meaning of this, though? What does it mean? Where are they? Is everybody here? Are they hiding? Look at this pixel angle from NPL. Spots Jerry and pops his head immediately. Squeezed it like a grape. This is so interesting. Two, not one, but two players through Monster. Probably reading that eventually... A CT must appear, and surely a free frag is around the corner. Starting to advance now, and Resort's found two from that short position. Always a thorn in the side, a CT holding that short spot. Bit fishing, NPL around the corner looking to swing now. Imagining maybe he's low on bullets, but he still manages to deliver a third one before eventually going down. Result, USP's going to be in the back. 30 seconds remain as... Crad makes his way over as well. Shalfi's holding an off angle. Almost one for free. Swinging on electronic. Bombs drops as well. Now it gets harder for Bit. One versus two. And Crad will finish off the job. But do they feel like they need to in order to make a play? 
in the right direction. There goes the flashbang result. Will he that one? But not before he finds... Oh, he finds both of them somehow. What a performance from result. His 12th kill, and that could be everything. Where are the remainder of Na'Vi going? Um, Looking to fall back. No time for them. I think because Result survives in that position for so long, just buys that extra time. Shelfie and Result here, Jerry to hold the high ground as well. It's a nice looking setup for Forza, but they still need to deliver the frags. There's a jump through the smoke. Shelfie's in the smoke himself. He can't see what's going on. How does he trade then? Look at these frags come through from Electronic and Perfecto. Seems to have solved the issue for now, but Shelfie is still here. Smoke is going, Electronic gets his bell rung, but he's still alive with 12 HP. Crad and Zorte remain two on two. Zorte has an idea of where Elect Electronic is. Crad's on a long rotation. Simple and Short B might not hear him coming just yet. Laser focused on Monster as he moves through. There's no kit for either of these players. They'll need one on the site. Otherwise, I don't know how they do this. Zorte gets one tapped by Simple as well. They're not going to show for him. They'll try and play the bomb. But Electronic may need Simple to come out to help him out here. 12 HP in a dream. And Simple will just about save his bacon. Another round in the bag then. Finally for Na'Vi. Still a little spread here. The bomb. Oh, hang on. The bomb in the hands of Bit. That could have been awkward. He's got one kill, but he's still got no backup there in his position. Oh, the this meantime, is real awkward. on the A site. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. Yeah, he's got two teams around him. You can see, like, he is just legging it away from them, but they're chasing him. Oh, no. And the USP will do the job. Keep your gun out. Simple will race over. You can see how they're trying to cover each other's backs. Shafi looking for a crouch peek. There's Jerry spotted. There's, there are 30 seconds on the clock. They'll both be dealt with, and they know where Jerry is as well. Electronic could hold the angle, so they could all head towards B if they wanted to. But it seems they may stream towards A. Now, if Perfecto goes long, he is done for here. There's an AK to be collected. One versus two. Jerry will take that all day. How do they plant the bomb in this situation? Charging forward, Jerry. A scary one for Na'Vi. But they'll secure the round. Krad's still, like, holding connector right now. He's like, yeah, connector's clear, guys. <laughs> oh, but now we can cut up behind them, and they might actually be completely clueless. Oh, baby. Big spray incoming. He drops that first player. That's the bomb awkwardly dropped behind. MPL has to go back for it. 2v4 towards this site, but Crad continues flanking quickly. And MPL just has no shot here, surely. That's a good headshot. No chance for the trade because this smoke is up. It's a 1v1. It's another headshot. MPL needs to be aware they're flanking him right now, but... He's looking for the rotate instead, or does he go B? What a read from MPL! Because they could get to that balcony before he can get into a post-plant position. He manages to escape. He's on for this then. Needs two more for the one versus four. Jerry up in the balcony. Oh, the angle! MPL looked away! That could have been everything, but timing won't allow him. Oh man, that would have that would have been amazing for him. Because there's contact through Monster already here. Electronic in this advanced position. They don't have the bomb in hand right now, but a flash over the top, Electronic looking for this angle, he finds it. And now Jerry in an uncomfortable position, he gets traded. Where's the bomb going though? The bomb might come back towards A here. How does oh, it get no. to its teammates though? There are two CTs between them and they've spotted the guys on the A bomb site as well. The Jig might be up here as they are both lost to Zorte. And now Simple's in no man's land. He'll trade Zorte, but does he know that Krad is there as well on the flank. He can give the warning to Shalfi as to what is happening. He'll have an angle from Connector as well. If he isn't hurt, that's perfecto. That's simple. There's no frag for Krad. Shalfi then 1v1, but simple will trade. Down to the wire we go, and you can see he needs that bonus money. Now, fortunately for Forza, they've had their chances. They haven't converted them. And this is the position they've left themselves in. Oh, now it's a B rush. Oh, result. Wow, he almost gets two from that. Giving his team a chance of trying to, Bit has find him, found himself at a very strong angle, but we have some of a stalemate. Na'Vi have disengaged. They tried to find Shalfi in connector with the M4. Such an important position. Simple goes down as well as Electronic. And all of a sudden, Na'Vi are hanging on to this round by a thread. Perfecto, 16 HP. And now it's just Bit, one versus four. If they survive in the numbers as well, Forza, that would be amazing. Potentially, they could pick up so much from this round. 
But first, he's got to deal with Bit in the clutch now. He finds Jerry by the pillar. He's got to find him quick and finish him off before the rest of the team comes in. Won't happen, though. And the rifles will be collected. Two, eight, three AKs brought into this round. I mean, at least you get the AWP for simple. But this is such a top-heavy buy. Oh, it might not matter, though. Crag caught out early. And that's a gun you can recover. are going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, Ooh. no. That's a psychological defeat as well as a, as a physical one. They didn't even tag him. The Max tag 10. But, oh, man. That is... I think that's where the, this map might be lost. Honestly. How do you come back from that? Well, Zorte's on long. And the bomb's heading towards the A bomb site. It is a two versus four, so... I want to take everything away from force. It will not win that fight. And so it looks like the two rifles should be saved. Still plenty of util for Na'Vi to make an execute onto a site, but which one will it be? Oh, well, Resalt wins that B short fight, and that might make Na'Vi go back towards A. They feel like he was so far forward, they don't want to commit to that B bomb site. And so it is Crad and Shalfi with a great chance on the hold. It spots that first player. 12 seconds. They need these entries and they've got them. Two entries onto the A site. That bomb will go down. And Fours might be locked out here. Smoke is down. Jerry desperately looking for something. Resalt the same but simple. Playing on the front foot. And Jerry has it all to do. And they're not even giving him the fight right now. Simple's locking him in from behind. That should be it. 16-11, Na'Vi. They steal away Forza's map pick. 32 frags for Simple in that game. A fantastic start for him in his surfer phase is Simple. And it is Na'Vi starting on that T side. And as always, Simple's got that P2 fitting. Be a hell of an incendiary considering where all these players are standing. And down they go. A huge read from Forza. Pistol rounds are often explosive, and this one is no different. I think that was a hard read from Forza with that incendiary down mid. But the job is not done yet. That'll certainly help though, as will that leaving Perfecto. One versus five. Bomb on the floor, switching to a new pistol, unable to even start planting. Four players up for four zero as they take the first round. That they have done their homework for this series. So, while historically it's a mixed bag, it's all information to build upon. Try to use coming into this one. You can see Jerry trying to jump past Simple there with the MP9, which has reasonable jumping accuracy, it must be said. Shalfi should indeed be smoked off. That's a bit of damage through. We'll see if Crad is indeed isolated here on the bomb site. Do they want to fight and try and help him? They do, but they don't succeed. Both players dropping on the site itself. And now Fools probably have to set up this retake. They can't deny that bomb from being planted. Worst case scenario for Forza. Great execute with Elizabeth Util from Na'Vi. Shalfi swings and faces both of them. And Resol gets utterly deleted by Simple. Yeah, Fools try and get one player to go through the smoke into a really difficult position. You see MPL just able to spray that player down, trying to run through the smoke. So not the usual junk thrown by the CTs in the mid position, but it will be an incendiary. In the meantime, Zorte's got a lot of work to do on this bomb site. Call with a grenade, but a flashbang will certainly help him. These flashes really working out for Zorte as he finds the T's stuck in the choke point. Resalt is still here as well. Bombs on the floor. Simple taking the place of his teammate, getting his bell rung, but delivering the frag fast enough. Very, very awkward advance there for Na'Vi, trying to break Forza's by immediately. And there's still the possibility to do that in this two versus three. No one in Donut right now, but Na'Vi can't know that. So they smoke off that position. Simple actually didn't get the bomb there. And Shalfi. Just able to land that shot, only one needed. Nice turn from Perfecto, spots that second player. So close to the kill onto Crad. Navi decide to do here. Four's actually adjusting their setup. They've just heard the molly. They've got the aggression from Crad, but now he spots some players. 
And he calls for assistance back towards this B bomb site. Still Navi not decided. MPL finally hits a headshot, and I think that bomb is going to go back to A. It's only Zorte here, but the orb might do enough. The bomb drop with no time remaining. Nothing Na'Vi can do about it. The dance of these two teams continues from overpass to ancient. That push from Krad, he saw the bomb poking into the cave area. They want to go even further here. So I look to activate. Realize they're so close by. Jerry unable to clean up. Two clean kills for Na'Vi, and this flank won't be quick enough. Look at these positions that Na'Vi are getting into now. This is so uncomfortable for the CTs. Yeah, Krad's got to find something to extinguish here before the full fire comes his way. Indeed, it will do. Hammer time, as far as Simple's concerned, has 11 for the CTs. Krad's only got the one for now, so if he can find a better time of things, then maybe Forza's fortunes can change. That's what they desperately trying to hold on to the AWP here. We'll see if he's able to do so. It's getting expensive for Na'Vi now as well. Cool. A big benefit for Force. That nade will do a bit of early damage, but Simple already in position here. Jerry has to fight him. Wins both early fights. Electronic tried to trade, put the smoke down to get into position, but Jerry... Very tight angle from Jerry, starting to move now. That's a big frag, five on two. Brad waiting for a smoke push, he's got massive advantages. The smoke's on the T side of come and gone. It's going to be guns blazing to find something in this round. Now, what is the goal here? 2v5, 30 seconds left on the clock. Is it to make it expensive if you plant the bomb? Either way. Nothing doing. All five standing for Forza at the end of the round. You can see they are waiting to respond immediately to the grenade sailing into the B-bomb site. And indeed, there is a Molotov to start things off. Sorte with a fantastic flick. An incendiary to respond is devastating for Na'Vi. 20 seconds on the clock. Three versus five. Still waiting to breach the bomb site. NPL will drop the bomb. And I don't think there's anything else for Na'Vi to achieve in round 12 any of those angles in towards cave in towards cheetah or jaguar or whatever the hell you want to call it simple gonna be running up early he wants this fight against jerry and shalfi here this time though trade available but jerry the second man there again that cave position reinforced for fours constantly fighting for it wants to know if anyone's here taken somewhat of, a, of an off angle and he has picked the right bomb site. If the grenades go first, then that's going to be so painful. NPL, 1v1. Jerry has the angle. Zorte on the way. But Jerry will deliver the goods. Another round secured for Forza. 9-6 to six over Na'Vi. Oh, Remis from Zorte. And a great opportunity for Na'Vi to finish this half with an extra round. Remainder of Forza, not connected to each other right now. Wrong side of the map, it seems, as well. Looking for any lurkers. And Bit will be doing exactly that. Sharpie's taken a lot of damage, though. But it's still doable. Have a look at Perfecto and Simple. Another round where Perfecto's got 3 HP or less. Simple's in trouble as well. This one could still go either way. Jerry... Got a nice angle on this bomb site. Perfecto drops. There goes NPL to trade. Bomb spotted. Shalfi on the way, but it's a very long rotation indeed. Has to go for it. As soon as he starts to cut the noise, the time is so far against him. I think he's got to get a move on here. He might just have to run at some point. Simple spotted, but the headshot delivered. 9-6 at the half. Still anyone's game here on Ancient. Falls putting up a good fight. See if that is going to help them split this A site. No presence on mid for Na'Vi. So the Glocks have the opportunity here. That smoke makes life awkward for them. And Bit delivers early. Electronic here alongside him. That crossfire is deadly. And Result just looking for any way in. But it's a 1v5 he has to win. He's got the USP. He's got basically no chance yet. Electronic gives him another fight. 
45 seconds to do it. Navi will look to make it as hard as possible. Still players in mid. Bit spotted on the site. Still got... Oh, my days! Rizzo, what was that? He knows bits around the corner, trying to avoid a one versus two. He's still got 30 seconds, but he's going to need to reload soon. And that's going to be super awkward. One HP. Oh, seven HP for Bit. Man, if that bullet had collected enough, then he would have had the space to reload. He made that one look dangerous. Balanced by some measures. Looking for an early entry into this A bomb site. Simple by the box will be dropped and Bit will trade. No, Electronic will come in there. I was like, wow, that was a fast trade with the MP9. Bit was the M4 from further afield. Bit will hold down a donut position, though. Fours are poking everywhere at the moment. The bomb is yet to be seen, as we can see. It has been dropped in a passive position. It looks like Na'Vi are more than happy to set up to play retake. They have kits. They still have some utility. They try and work together, but it's two MP9s on mid right now. Resalt wins that initial duel. There's the second headshot, but still two more to find. He goes aggressive on the reposition, but I think he's been spotted. Another kill confirmed. Finally, Bit puts him down, but man, he made that close. Insight looks like it'll be tested this time. Smoke goes down. Shalfi wants to phase that smoke. Resort went out first, but Shalfi set up for the refrags. Two kills into B. Can he get one more? No. MPL finally replies, but Crag quick on the trade again into another post plan. Crag won't be there for a while yet, says Orte could check to his close right, but what do you assume that it's clear? He's not looking at this at all. Electronics basically on the site. He realizes what's going on. Bit still towards B, but Electronics is surely going to get a free kill here. Absolutely. Oh, Zorte. Oh, and this is going to, this is turned into a complete disaster. Avoiding the flashes down to the 1v1. Loses the duel. How unfortunate for Forza. And now Forza look to group up over towards A. Jaffe getting dropped, bit looking sharp as well as these Forza players. Forza needs to get these AKs away from Na'Vi. But the FAMAS will be enough for Electronic. Great angle, Jerry to trade though. Two versus three in favor of Na'Vi. Still a minute on the clock and then there were two for both squads. But NPL is close enough to do some damage. Bit with the last kill, Na'Vi with 11. But his flank Ooh. could be perfect. But does he check this position? Surely he doesn't. He's going to have a look towards the mid-area. In the meantime, Perfecto's on the site alone. This is so strange. Perfecto's getting traded, but Bit's going to be so close behind them. Will they even be ready for this? I don't think they will be. Yeah, Zorte had no idea, but it's Shalfi in a 1v2. He's played so well for fours throughout this map. Ball is ticking. Navi decide to group up into this cave position. Shalfi will have to get the read on that. The bomb is planted on this far side. Shalfi's looking for fights aggressively. They won't expect this angle. They won't expect Shalfi. He lines them both up. And finally, Fools pick up their first T round. Bit forced to fall back. One minute on the clock. The bomb at the mouth of mid. Will there be a wide swing from Grad? No. Hard for Joey to trade in that situation. But he'll manage to get there eventually. Down to 8 HP, though. That is a big, big frag. They know Simple's in Donut, and he's still standing in that position. Jerry's on the way to try and do something about that. Simple's aware of that situation. Missed the angle for a second, though. But Jerry will be dealt with. The USP is enough. Three versus two. No more util for Forza. They've got to find a long-range frag, because eventually this angle will be exposed to Simple as well. That's what he was looking for. Perfecto dropped NPL behind. Still hiding from Simple. Did he spot NPL there? Perhaps he did. He's got Shalfi in for support. Three bullets remain in the magazine. Still being teased by NPL. Still peeking. NPL trying to find a trade fragger. He's baiting all these shots from Sorte and still hasn't been touched somehow on the bomb now. While Simple covers, but they will be dealt with eventually. The last fra bullet in the magazine. Up to 30 kills for fours. That was electronic caught in the open, which was so important. Sorte gets established on that CT angle. Against a very tough opponent as well. NPL trying to catch players off guard, taking that late damage. But Perfecto is going to be the one to deliver those frags. The distraction at least has been enough. 
54 seconds. Jerry will trade eventually. Have a look at that angle. Krad's having a nightmare of a game. Two versus four then. Na'Vi held on to these weapons and put them to good use in round 27. Ooh. Spotted simple, but <laughs> spotting simple is only half the task. Fragging simple, something else entirely. A quick shot from him, leaving Jerry with 20 HP. 13 rounds then for Na'Vi. And they do indeed take it. Again, this early mid utility on display, but they're gonna flash through it here. Electronic in position, able to double down despite being blind. Oh, an MPL here to help from up above. Big, big mid hold from Na'Vi. And surely no way into this round now for Forza. But you're so close to taking this map off of Na'Vi. I feel like you can see Crad in the background just. Simple on the A bomb site. Electronic in Donut playing the gaps. Getting punished for his insolence. Well then, reinforcements on the way. Red Room will be conceded. He'll be left alone by Bit as he makes his way towards A. The numbers are here for Forza, but can they find the frag? Simple has started off well. Bit holding down a long position. So far, so good for Na'Vi. Four on three, 45 seconds. Zorte straight up going for the plant. They'll cover the angles with the bomb, but they've got to find some kills here as well. Oh, Resol in a great position. MPL caught out. Another one for Resol. He strikes from behind. And now Na'Vi have so many angles to clear, but Simple's got the first one. They know this angle is dangerous. Jerry being hard cleared here, but Bit not ready for the other angle. Simple hits the shot, but not the frag. It is fours up to 15. They call for the A play. And it seems they were going for something similar. But this time they're going to try and swing into mid with three. Electronic sneaks a kill as that smoke goes up. Jerry's swinging. The trades won't be in their favor, though. Na'Vi in control now. So flashbangs go into the A bomb site. Simple is waiting. Simple is lurking, but the flames are on the way. There'll be a boost. There'll be some elevation. Big headshot. That's a huge frag. But Bits in Donut. He's got help coming through in that name of Electronic, who will fall, actually. Bit drops behind the smoke as well, and it's down to Perfecto. One versus three. They're all tagged. The bomb's planted. He's alone. So far, so good. Two more to find. One long, one in the temple. Putting a smoke up, trying to isolate the fights. But where are these final players? He doesn't have a kit. There might be one around him. Putting a smoke on the bomb as well. Looking for a flank, which is never going to come. This is burning time for him as well. He's got to solve this problem quickly, but he won't be able to do it. Forza, take their opponent's map and force us to a third. Inferno will be that decider. What a win for Forza. They will be delighted with that. In all five series, it was an Inferno pick. This time they leave it as the decider. See if it works out for them. Simple early, dealt with. Another player down in boiler, but Bit can't land a single thing. And MPL spots that player, but back turned. He can't hit the headshot. That is a clean pistol for Fours. Yeah, Perfecto basically has nothing to lose at this point. Apart from a HE grenade, which he will lose no kills whatsoever. Wow. Up goes the smoke. Using it to try and stop that plant from happening. They've got 20 seconds to solve this problem, Forza. You can see Crad round the corner, unable to win that duel though. Jerry will be able to do so, but Electronic is up there for a time. And there's still plenty of time to plant this bomb as Bit comes to the B bomb site in the clutch, one versus three. When you're already down a player, that's not really enough on Inferno. Those rotations and retakes are very difficult at the best of times. You can see Electronic on the rotation, making his way towards Library, which isn't smoked off, but is being flanked, actually. Shalfi with the crouch peak. That is a nasty headshot from him. And the trouble continues for Na'Vi. 40 seconds. They're surrounded on the A-bomb site. Simples by Banana. And there's no one there to challenge. Forza edging forward. NPL just doesn't know which way to look. This is... Slow and brutal oh. by Forza on this A bomb site. A clinic as they take everybody around them. I think he is going to be okay unless Shalfi rounds this corner at the right time. Oh, Shalfi's coming. Oh, okay. Simple got it. Oh, we might wait for MPL to fight. There's a kill for MPL. 
Simple actually doesn't activate. That's a free AK. Wally in position. MPL will fall, but Simple has had time to rotate into position. Good shot with the AWP. And that smoke going down means he can get away safely. Jerry might need to wrap towards the B bomb site, but indeed the bomb is at the top of Banana. 36 seconds. They've made shown some presence. Perfecto's waiting behind the smoke. But which way do they go? Jerry's towards top mid. Now, where does he think Simple has gone? Obviously, that's a big issue, but the time is going to be an issue also. We can see Bit's got a strong position on the balcony. Crad could try and pull rotation. Simple, he went there for a second and stopped immediately. He realizes what could be happening here. The spatial awareness. He's stuck between no man's land. He doesn't know what to do. 10 seconds and the bomb is still top mid. Will there be even time to go for a plan here? What is happening? Five seconds. There's no way this works out for them. There's no way, especially with Simple on the angle like that. The hesitation Ooh. will be enough. A dirty headshot towards the end as well. And Navi are finally on the scoreboard. Got a couple of players up through a long. This is nice from Bit, though. Smoke down, incendiary to follow. Navi just want to delay for the rotation, but the ramp begins. <gasps> MPL able to get one kill. That's important. Now he can survive on this bomb site. Shalfi finally wraps towards him. But you see the players helping out here. Electronic arrives on the rotate. And Zorte unable to land a shot. Big cleanup from Electronic. Ooh, straight towards A. This is a pace change, but one that Na'Vi might be ready for here. Yeah, minute 20, they've got four players made three on the bomb site. Not sure if they're ready for that uh, partnership on that long area, but the trades will go the way of Forza just about. They're in a two versus three though, but they'll be able to plant the bomb at the very least. No post-plant grenade, simply fragging out Zorte, dancing and repositioning. You can hit some headshots through that wall, but perhaps not where Zorte is standing at the moment. Simple trying to identify what the makeup of these two players is as the mollies make their way towards the site itself. Zorte forced away as well. They're swinging together. Jerry looking to swing on MPL as well, but unable to do so. Simple covering Zorte's angle. It'll be dealt with. The retake is here and the score will be even. So look at the front of the site then from the T side as they look to cross towards pool or maybe even jump on the barrels. Don't see that one every day. Faking the plant, Perfecto showing presence, Electronic getting dropped. We've got some cheeky strats here from Forza. As grenades continue to rain in, Jerry over the top of that smoke. Narvi weren't ready for this gimmick and it might break Narvi here as things continue in this fashion. Jerry with his third of the round. NPL and Bit remain with a kit himself and NPL maybe wants to cost them some money as they try to exit. Jerry gets dropped, but I think this round is going to Forza. It definitely is. Zorte is going to die to the bomb, but he gets bit out of there beforehand. Jerry will be his equal on 14. Nine deaths though on a T side as he will be the battering ram, one of many for Forza. Forcing their way through. Result takes the damage. Look at this kill feed though. Simple NPL and Bit all combining to make these thorns a bit soft on Forza's side. Because he has the crossfires with his teammates. Fast B here. So many nades into top banana. I think that might give the game away. Electronic just heard three nades explode. Perfecto ready on the hold. M4 in hand. That's good damage across the board. CT push unsuccessful. Really well handled here by Na'Vi. Shall be getting some kills back though. This will be a 1v5. That's all the information Shalfi needs. He still has a minute on the clock. No one's pushed Banana. There's no need. Bit deals with it. Bomb collected. Remember, I was saying earlier, Inferno is slightly T-sided in the current meta. So the fact that fours are already falling behind isn't ideal. Look at the aggression again. Na'Vi not giving fours any breathing room here as this half has gone on. Two kills already found by the CTs. Hiding behind the coffins. NPL's here as well. <laughs> So weird. Sees one, but he needs two. One won't be enough in a three versus five. He needs a second one. Focused on Perfecto, but what else can he get? Hello and <laughs> goodbye. Now he needs to squeeze another one. And that's exactly what he was looking for. An open B bomb site, three on three. Jerry behind enemy lines. They all have kits.
Now, if Jerry gets one kill, that's really going to be huge for them, but he only had two HP. Down he goes. Did a good job, though. Sorte looking for a transfer, but the trades continue. That bomb is quite ticked, though. Bit swinging out with the pistol. Down to the one versus one. Simple on the balcony, but surely he's run out of time. Indeed, he has yet another close round between Na'Vi and Forza. Just one round in it as we head to half time. Someone's going to the mid bracket. Na'Vi start to come back towards A, but got an apartments player here for Forza. Vsalt with a chance. Oh, it's such an annoying angle. He's playing too far below. Perfecto can't clear it. That's a man advantage for fours. Vsalt only with one from that boiler position. They start to move through now as Shalfi defends from up top, but there he goes as well. It'll be a 2v2 then. Zorte's got a flash to maybe send Crad in as they close the distance on the site. They need to be quick because I don't see any kits. Crad going fishing for something. Showing some presence, saying hello, inviting them to show themselves. Trying to get closer. How does Zorte use this flash? Do they even know where both these players are? Flash in a bit. Great pop onto both of them. Handily dealt with. Forza come back to take the second pistol on Inferno. And this, oh man, Shalfi, he almost got caught there. Do they realize? Navi is through the flames, but Shalfi lines up the double kill. Peek him with a flashbang, so ballsy, but he finally decides to tuck back. And now Simple might start to wrap up a long result. Wins that duel. Really hard angle for him. Finally bit able to trade. And that bomb will start to try and come towards this A bomb site. Crab can speed up his rotation. Bits in the apartments then. Perfecto on an island. As that smoke on long will soon be gone and Shalfi will start poking. Bit needs to stay with his teammate. Crad is dropped. Looking for Shalfi. That'll be a huge kill. Jerry moving forward as well. So awkward for Shalfi. I think his death was guaranteed. Jerry now with the kit. One versus two. Na'Vi's done a great job. That flashback is fantastic. And the trade will be there for Na'Vi as they tie the score once again. Oh, I think Jerry went back into the nade there. If you have no Kevlar... It is possible for the grenade to hit you and then do and then kill you. And you can do 101 damage in two hits. A mixed bag for both squads. We see NPL and Perfecto. The T side have an MP9 and the FAMAS. How awkward it is for Resolve also. He needs some help and he's got some in Shalfi, who makes it back into the right place at the right time to make it a five on three. Simple smoked off. Smoke into Arch. How simple to start this wrap round. Here's those steps behind. Try and take that fight. Great headshot from Simple. And that Molly is going to force Resolt into the open here. It gives Electronic the chance for a kill. Could go for another. Running and gunning. But finally, Crad trades from the site. Perfecto, who will try and get that bomb down. But he's so low. As soon as he gets it planted, he might be wrapped from both sides here. No chance for Perfecto in the clutch. It's all going to be about a trade fragging. Everybody's short on grenades now. One flash for the CTs, one flash for the Ts. Crad looking to swing. This is that kind of chaos that we expect from Forza. That mayhem just going in dry and shooting. Sorte still there. Crad going back towards library, but the bomb is heading back towards B while they're being entertained elsewhere. And there's only Jerry here to defend it. CT smoke won't give away much. Balls now figure it out, and that's the fight Jerry needed. Molly won't force him away. Jerry goes through it, and that's all they needed. Jerry, the sole defender of the B bomb site, does everything required. Maybe understanding the habits of Forza, there's no one on the bomb site. Forza have been at the tables gambling, and on this occasion, they've lost all their money. Or have they? The bomb's been dropped immediately. Jerry is such a nuisance. There's a three-on-three -three retake capable. Bit still lurking towards a... Shalfi still holding down top mid. They're going to converge on mid together while the fight continues on the B bomb site. Absolutely wild. They're trading. They're fighting in mid. Rotating over now. Oh. The bomb still needs help. They're pushing on to Simple. He's been <laughs> lost. Bit's been entertained in mid. Only making it wait, making his way there now as Shalfi's been wasting his time. And it might be Shalfi who, who takes him down in the end as he's got an angle from CT. Bit knows he's in a crossfire. 
and Crad will punish him. This team is crazy. With the boost, with the spam onto the bomb. Oh my, I just don't, this is it, this is the kill. Boom, bomb drop, Simple's desperate. They run him down as well. But the job's not done until it's done. All that money we spoke about from Na'Vi. Forza have survived the tests in the short term. This is still a trying round though, as a result tries to stay alive. Chalfie holding down the balcony, and now there are problems. The one in front, one behind, that's the hell of a transfer from Chalfie. Two players lost, no bomb plant. They'll be happy with that. But they're in some trouble. Zorte lurking, Jerry continues to be a problem. 24 frags. Going one beyond simple as well. A third play makes his way over in Shalfi. Navi starting to poke forward. Perfecto holding the angles as the riflers try to make their way in. But it's not working. Zorte's here with the orb behind the pillar. Simple creeping, trying to find the right player. Shalfi with two, leaving NPL to wrap with 20 seconds to go in a one versus five. And it feels like Navi are kind of struggling for ideas based on that round. His A site hasn't been tested too often in recent rounds. It will be now. MPL countered by the utility again. Result trying to hold down two jobs. Bit will be able to trade, and Ooh. maybe there's opportunity. As the CTs are on the other side of the site, that incendiary could be huge though, unless the T's get past it. Forcing their way into the site now, dancing around the smoke grenades with a bomb plant at the very least, but it could be a lot more than that. Perfecto with an angle. Jerry's in the red already, 12 HP. How do they get onto this bomb site? This is surely suicide for Forza. 14 to 11. Zorte's found the angle on Perfecto though. Simple now in a one versus two with the Deagle. Jerry has been dealt with. Zorte and Simple. One bullet left, but it's the USP to prevail and put Forza on match point versus Na'Vi. He sneaks in on a different angle instead, which forces the adjustment. This shot. Oh, Ooh. so quick. Only one team is on match point. Perfecto going past the angle. Bit's been lost in the meantime around the apartments. Aggression from Forza. NPL trying to wrap. He will be denied. And then there were three for Na'Vi. Almost look desperate there to push through the smoke. Here comes the play to B. Zorte denies. Zorte again. It's Electronic 1v5. He hits the first headshot, but Fours have done it. They've taken down Na'Vi in their opening match of Pro League. And look at what it means to them. It's a fantastic result for a relatively young squad with the wisdom. Jerry continues to be an enigma in Counter-Strike, but...